Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paulina or Java with Thor. And from the titles of today's video, I'm going to be answering questions that you guys have been asking about cruise ship job. I've listed down most of the questions, almost 18 of them. Uh, but if I don't answer your question on this video, please uh, leave a comment with your question and I'm going to compile uh, all other questions that I will not have answered on this video. And I will do a part two video about uh those questions so guys if you haven't subscribed please do so give this video a thumbs up make sure your bell icon is on so that you can be notified whenever i post a video uh guys i'm so grateful we are at 17,000 subscribers and some hundreds and i'm sure very soon you're going to get me to two 20,000 subscribers so if you haven't subscribed please do so i normally see that on my videos most of the viewers are not subscribers so please do that and um it helps a lot okay especially for us who are creating this video anyway let me not waste a lot of time let me get into today's um questions i have quite a lot of them i've told you i have almost 20 questions and i'm going to answer them to my level best and i hope that you guys will be well informed when it comes to cruise ships jobs application so the first question i normally get all the question that i wrote first is what is the age requirement uh till now i'm sure there are so many people who don't know the age requirement for cruise ship job and this is what i'll tell you uh, they do take people from age 21 and uh, there, there is no specific, uh, uh, like spe specific upper age limit, though in most websites they light up to 67. But depending on the position that you're applying for, for example, if you're 50 years old, you cannot be applying for a waiter position. You know, there is no way a 21 or a 22 and a 23 will be applying for uh, like a sister waitress or assistant server position and you are at 50 and you're applying for the same position so what happens with age it comes with experience and so for example if you're a chef and you are 40 or you're 50 there are high chances they may take you because you have been doing it for a while and uh it's a position that requires experience okay so uh the age limit is 21 and uh, upper age limit, uh, lower age limit is 21 years and uh, upper age limit is 67. Okay, though in uh, spa department, they do take people with 18 years and above. Not all cruise ship, but mostly with MSC. I do see that even 19 years, 20 years are being recruited to go work in spa department. Okay, so the other question is, uh, who pays for your flight? So when it comes to cruise ship jobs, uh, they are visa sponsored uh, jobs. Okay, they are one of the easiest U.S. visa sponsorship job. Uh, so what they do, they will pay for your flight to and from. Anytime you're coming for vacation, they'll pay for your flight. Anytime you go back, they'll pay for your flight. So you you are not supposed to pay for your flight. The cruise company that is hiring you will pay for your flight. Um, uh, the other question is, uh, do they pay for the visa and medical? So, uh, as I've told you, we normally say cruise ships are free. Cruise ship jobs are free, but they are free to apply. But I did another video of what comes with you applying with uh, other, what other requirements you need or other costs that you will incur during your, uh, your application. And uh, visa and medical is one of them. Okay. Uh, visa is $180 and uh, when it comes to the medical, it depends with where you're from. In Kenya, mostly it's around um, $250 to $300, okay? And uh, all you need to do is to check with your country because whenever you get a job, the cruise company will send you a list of doctors in your country and you can always call them, reach out and uh, know how much they are charging for the medicals 
okay so it will only pay for your flight but they will not pay for your medical and they will not pay for your visas uh the other question is uh where do i apply f jobs as sales associates so those people who would love to work as sales associates uh retail uh retail sales associate those people who work in shops who sells jewelry and all that uh you will find that most cruise company do not uh recruit them directly they have like hiring um agency that they use to recruit them and uh we have one of them it's called hardings hardings do recruit people to go work as sales uh, work in shops in jewelry and all that stuff i think i've done a tutorial on how to apply with them though so i'm going to leave the link of the a website on the description box of this video so that if you fall under that category you can go ahead and try to apply with them the other question is uh, is stcw a requirement to apply for a cruise ship job so when it comes to the initial stage of application you don't need stcw okay it doesn't give you any like uh, advantage because you have stcw uh, what happened is you apply for a job when you get a job the cruise company that is hiring you will request for STCW and that's the best time to go and do the STCW training because some of these cruise line will do uh, do conduct the STCW training on board so you don't have to do it on land and most of the time they are free just need to pay for your seaman's book okay so it's not a requirement and only do it if you have a job already and uh, they require it or if you have money and time to go and do it okay though it's not a requirement especially in the initial application stages uh, the other question is do i need a passport to apply actually this question no sorry 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 i thought i was not recording i almost fainted Anyway, this question of do I need a passport, I normally see it a lot, especially on TikTok. Do I need a passport to apply? And this is my answer. If you are planning to go and work abroad, if you're planning to leave Kenya and go work abroad, not necessarily uh, with cruise ship, but any other job, you need to have a traveling document that is your passport. So it's a requirement. And you'll find that in most cases, when you go to this website, when applying for this job, they somewhere they ask you, do you have a passport that is valid for more than six months? Or do you have a passport that is valid for more than one year? And then down there, they'll ask you, when is your passport expiring? And you have to fill in those details. That means they need you to have the passport by the time you're applying. So uh, nowadays, you know, the moment you're 18 years of age especially if you're from kenya because that's when we are termed as adults when you're taking your id that's the same time you're supposed to be thinking on how you can apply for a traveling document because you might get a chance anytime and uh, i don't know about other countries but here sometimes you might wait for a very long time before your passport has uh, like after the application before it's published and you're, you get it it might take time so whenever you have a chance just apply for that traveling document have it with you so that in case an opportunity show up you will have no reasons of getting that job the other question is do um if i don't have hospitality experience which jobs can i apply so you know uh when it comes to cruise ship and most of the time they are checking for your experience for them to consider you remember especially right now uh so many people have shared information about cruise ship which was not happening there before so many people didn't know about cruise ship jobs but right now so many people are very informed and they are, they are very ready to apply for these jobs so the competition is very high and everyone is applying for those jobs so what makes you uh, better than the other person is your experience so if you don't have experience for example if you've been working in gulf countries because i normally get questions from those working as house help or domestic workers in gulf countries i will advise you to go for for like a house housekeeping cleaner 
um, steward those cleaning jobs because they don't require a lot and somehow you can be able to tailor make your cv for those specific job but if you're smart enough or you feel like you are uh, capable of doing any other position then tailor make your cv and apply for that job that you are eyeing uh, the other question is uh, how soon can i get a job offer after uh, a job after application so this is a question i get a lot especially from those people who who come to me to help them with application and this is what i'll tell you this process of cruise ship jobs is very unpredictable and uh, a lot is involved so when it comes to, when it comes to how how soon can i get a job offer it all depends with the position you're applying if it's available uh, the cruise company that is hiring you, there are cruise companies that are very slow, or some cruise agencies that are very slow when it comes to this process. There are some that are very fast. You'll find someone has applied for a job today. Tomorrow they have gotten a response. After two days they have done their first interview. After a few days they have done their second interview. And then they are done, they get their offer letter, they apply for their visa. Luckily they get closer date, they get their visa. And maybe within two or three months, they are already on board. Then there are those people who apply for a job. You will wait for months before you get a response or you apply for a job. You will get regrets before you get a job, you know, so it takes time. And uh, all I can tell you is always put God uh, first in all that you do and then be patient because that's the only thing you can um, you can you can do. There is no like a specific time limit of how soon you can get a response. It all depends on so many things like the position you're applying for, if it's available, how fast have you gotten that job, how fast do the cruise company respond, how fast are you going to get a visa, and even some don't get a visa immediately. Some will get the job, will do the interview, get the offer letter, but the company will take long before they send them the LOE. Okay? So with that, uh, I can tell you it's very unpredictable. You just need to be patient and don't quit your job. Don't quit your current job. Uh, the other question, actually this question I got it today. Can I get a job if I cannot communicate in English? That's another question. So uh, let's look at, it, look at it this way. Uh, English is like the common language for most people, especially in the world. For most people, English is like the common language. And you'll find also in this website when you're going to apply, it's a requirement. You should be able to speak fluently. Okay? I know some will say maybe people from a specific part of, of the world do not speak English very well. But this is what I'll tell you. They, they may not be speaking English very well because English is not your first language. English is not my first language. It's something that I've learned. So I might not be very fluent, but if I speak to you and you understand, then you're good to go. Okay? So if you know you cannot communicate in English, start practicing. Try to learn how to speak in English because the whole process will require you to speak in English. After your application, you will need to do your interviews with the recruiters. The recruiters are not from your country and they will not be speaking your language. Okay, they will not speak, be speaking either your local language, they will be speaking in English because that's the, uh, the language of communication. And even when you get that job, when you join the ship, you will need to communicate with other people from different nationality, different background, different continent who are speaking different languages. But what unites you is the English language. Also, when you're serving the customers, uh, you need to be able to speak in English because you need to communicate to them. Okay, so you need, you cannot get a job if you cannot speak in English. It's really, to be really hard for you. Okay, uh, the other question is, uh, how long will I wait for my LOE after a job offer? I know this question is coming, especially from those people maybe who have applied with Princess Cruises, because you'll find in most cases they will give you the offer letter, or even Carnival Cruise Line, they will give you the offer letter, and then they will take long before giving you the LOE, letter of employment, okay? And uh, people are asking how long. So what I will tell you, it's also unpredictable. 
it depends with the company when they want to give it to you and uh, in some companies like Carnival Cruise Line if you already have the TA, TM Hub uh, TM Hub uh, portal you can always request it from there if they haven't submitted it to you so that you can also be able to do your visa appointment and all and all, all that if not that if it's like a, a princess cruises then you have to wait until they get it they give it to you so in case you get a job if you in case you apply for a job you get a job you do the interviews you get the offer later don't quit your job quit your job when you have seen your ticket and sometimes it's uh, you can even have your uh, flight ticket and they cancel you maybe a day or two before your traveling date so you have to be very careful don't quit your current job before you have all your things figured out because anything can happen uh, the other question is can I apply if I'm not in my country of origin for example if you're a Kenyan and you're working in Qatar if you're a Kenyan you're working in Kuwait Saudi Arabia if you're in Europe anywhere in the world and you're not in kenya can you apply yes you can apply and the good thing is uh if you apply with cruise ship jobs if you apply for a cruise ship job you go through the process you get all your documents even your loe you can easily apply for the visa in the country that you are in okay if you're in qatar you can apply for your c1d visa in qatar um you also have to check with with the country that you that you are residing if it's possible for you to apply for the u.s visa but in mo most cases you'll find that most countries have u.s embassies there okay so you can apply even if you're not in the your country of origin um the other question is can all nationality apply for cruise ship job uh, i'll say yes all nationality can apply because when you go to those websites you'll find all nationalities that have been listed but uh in some cases you'll find that you've sent an application and they have responded to you that they are taking people from specific part of the world so you can always check with the uh, cruise company check with the job description jo job requirement and see if you fall under that and then you can go ahead and apply but in most cases they take people from all nationality as long as you can be able to communicate in english uh is there any other questions that i haven't led uh the other one is does my education background really matters so when it comes to education background this is what i'll tell you uh most of this cruise company or during your recruitment what they want to know is about your experience and that's where you'll find that most of the most of these companies they don't ask for your education papers they will not ask you send us your degree send us your diploma they'll ask you to send us your recommendation letter send us your work certificate send us your pay slip uh because all they all, all that matters is your experience some of us have went to school studied for a different course and did a different job okay i might have studied education and maybe right now i'm working as a housekeeper i might, might have done something else and my career is different from what i went and did in school so education doesn't really matter but they normally say they want someone who has completed their high school diploma in which i've seen people with no high school diploma applying for this job and also getting uh the jobs um without their high school diploma so that is not an issue as long as you have experience uh let me see i think i've answered most of this question but there's this one how can i apply and i get this question a lot even on my inbox on whatsapp how can i apply i don't know how to apply so this is what I'll tell you. You have to go to the cruise company website. And my YouTube has been here for almost a year, over a year actually. And I have posted a lot of tutorials on how to apply for each and every company. For most cruise uh, job, uh, for, for most cruise ship company, I've done tutorials on how to apply. Even if it's not on my channel, I've seen other people who share those tutorials. Do your research. 
and also have knowledge about this cruise ship job because you'll find someone has come to you and they don't know exactly and they have zero knowledge on how the process goes and that's why you'll find someone telling you i thought it will take a week i thought i'll get the job immediately no you need to research on how to apply you need to research on how to create a portal on those websites you need to know on where to send your cv if for example it's schools on kenya you just need to send your cv to their email when you go to carnival cruise line you need to create a portal when you go to royal caribbean you need to do the same thing and you need to upload your supporting documents all that okay and those tutorials are here on youtube you can always check them out and apply and uh it's always good to know that uh there's always a strategy on how to apply First of all, I uh, know the position that you're applying for. Uh, check cruise company that has those positions open. Make your CV. Prepare for your interview. Uh, be patient and always be con like be patient with the process uh, because it might take a while or you might get the job immediately. So I think I've answered most of these questions. I had like 18 questions. And if there's any question that I've not answered, you can always leave it on the description uh, on the comment section and I'm going to compile them and maybe do a part two of this video. And uh, thank you so much for watching, for listening, for subscribing, for liking and uh, whatever, whatever you do to support uh, this channel, I feel appreciated and uh, I hope to see you in our next one. Thank you so much.